Understanding, I've been negligent. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, I've been negligent. We'll explore its meaning, use in sentences, and the nuances that make English such a fascinating language to learn. Whether you're a beginner or advancing in your English studies, this video aims to clarify and enrich your understanding. So, let's get started. The phrase, I've been negligent, is made up of a few key components. Firstly, I've, is a contraction for, I have, indicating a personal experience or action. Been, is the past participle form of, be, used here to link to the adjective, negligent. Lastly, negligent, is an adjective that describes a failure to take proper care in doing something. When put together, this phrase expresses an acknowledgement by the speaker of their failure to act responsibly or attentively in a certain situation. To understand the phrase fully, it's crucial to dive deeper into the meaning of negligent. Being negligent implies a lack of attention or care that someone reasonably should have given in a specific context. It often carries a sense of responsibility and the notion that the oversight or failure to act could have or did lead to negative consequences. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase can be used in everyday conversation. I've been negligent in answering your emails, and I apologize for any inconvenience caused. Looking back, I realize I've been negligent in maintaining our friendship, and I want to make amends. I've been negligent in my studies lately, and it's reflected in my grades. In these sentences, the speaker is taking responsibility for not fulfilling their duties or obligations in various aspects of life. There are several other ways to express a similar idea in English. Here are a few, I've been remiss, I've failed to, I haven't been paying attention to. Understanding these variations can help you better express nuances in different situations. I've been negligent, is a powerful phrase that conveys a sense of personal accountability for not living up to one's responsibilities. By breaking down the phrase, understanding its components, and seeing it used in context, we hope you've gained a clearer insight into its meaning and use. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the subtle nuances that give depth and richness to communication. We hope this video has been helpful in your journey to mastering English. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.